Hi there, Maurice here with the Resuscitation Coach. On this channel we do all things resuscitation, so please consider subscribing. In today, the fifth video in our ECG Made Easy series, we'll be discussing heart blocks. So let's jump straight in. Here we go. Heart blocks can be classified into incomplete and complete AV blocks. Incomplete AV blocks includes first degree block and second degree blocks. Your second degree blocks can be subdivided into type 1, also known as Wenckebach or Mobitz 1, and type 2 or Mobitz 2. Your complete AV blocks includes third degree blocks heart blocks. Let's look at what normal conduction looks like on an ECG. The rate is usually 60 to 100 per minute, which is normal. The rhythm is regular, P waves are present, and there is one P wave for every QRS. The PR interval is within normal range, meaning 3 to 5 small boxes, or 0.12 to 0.2 seconds. The QRS complex is narrow, meaning three small boxes or less, or less than 0.12 seconds, and there is one QRS for every P wave, meaning one to one conduction. Let's review a first degree block. The rate is usually within normal range, the rhythm is regular, P waves are present, and there is one P wave for every QRS. Our PR interval is prolonged, meaning more than 5 small boxes or more than 0.2 seconds, but it remains constant. The QRS is usually narrow, and there is one QRS for every P wave. Have a look at the red highlighted arrows and we see the PR interval is prolonged at about 7 small boxes or 0.28 seconds. So the main concept in first degree block is that the PR interval is prolonged more than 5 small boxes or more than 0.20 seconds, but it remains constant. Let's review the second degree block type 1. The atrial rate is more than the ventricular rate. The atrial rhythm is regular versus the ventricular rhythm, which is irregular as there are dropped beats. The P waves are normal in size and shape. The PR interval lengthens with each cycle, although it may be a slight lengthening until a dropped beat. Let's have a look. Look at the PR interval. It gets wider, it gets wider, and there we see a P wave with the black arrow, and suddenly there is no QRS complex. So the main concept to remember in second degree block type 1 is that there is a progressive lengthening of the PR interval until you find a P wave that is not followed by a QRS complex. Here we see a second degree block type 2. The atrial rate is more than the ventricular rate. The atrial rhythm is regular versus the ventricular rhythm, which is irregular, as there are dropped beats. The P waves are normal in size and shape, and you'll find more P's than QRS complexes. The PR interval is usually within normal limits, but can be prolonged, but it stays constant until there's a P wave without a QRS complex. The QRS is usually three small boxes or more with some dropped QRS complexes. The key to remember in second degree block type 2 
is that the PR interval will stay constant until you have a P wave without a QRS complex. On this ECG, we see two P waves without a QRS complex. Let's review a third degree heart block, also known as a complete heart block. The atrial rate is more than the ventricular rate, the atrial and ventricular rhythm is regular, and there is no relationship between the P waves and QRS complexes. The P waves are normal in size and shape. There is no PR intervals as the P waves and the QRS complexes are not linked to each other. The QRS complexes are usually wide, more than three small boxes or more than 0.12 seconds. The reason for the wide QRS complex is that the block is below the his junction. The main points to remember about the third degree block is that it's a complete heart block, meaning no atrial impulses can be conducted through the AV node to cause ventricular contraction. There is a complete dissociation between the atria and ventricles, and the atria paces at its own inherent rate, and the ventricles at its own rate. Here is another example of a third degree block, but this is not typically what we associate with a third degree block, as the QRS complex is narrow. The QRS will be narrow when the block is above the his junction. Don't get confused when the QRS is narrow, as this ECG still meets all the criteria to be classified as a third degree block. In summary, first degree block, the PR interval is prolonged more than five small boxes or 0.12 seconds or more. Second degree block type 1, there is a progressive lengthening of the PR interval until a beat is dropped, meaning a P wave without a QRS complex. Second degree block type 2, the PR interval stays constant until the occasional P waves without a QRS complex. Third degree block, there is a complete dissociation between the atria and the ventricles. The P waves and the QRS complexes are not linked to each other. If you benefited from this video, kindly like, subscribe and smash that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.